Welcome back in. It is the local and community issues and answers right here on WVTN All Gospel Television, WVCT 91.5 FM on your radio dial. And it's so glad to have in the studio with us right now, Reverend Billy Carpenter from the Mount Ash Baptist Church. And we're going to have a discussion, Brother Billy. And we're going to talk about this wet dry vote. It's such an awful thing that's coming into our communities, into our neighborhood, and we need to put a stop to this. You're right, Brother Jonathan. Thank you for the opportunity and, and the opportunity to be able to talk to the wonderful folks here in this viewing audience as, as far as this is going to be reaching out. Because it is a, it's a major concern to any Christian, mm -hmm. to any, any church that's, that's got young people, uh, that trying to keep them on the straight and the narrow right. and others and trying to keep them from drifting away from mm. God and going any farther into sin. Uh, I didn't know that it, probably you telling me that it was an issue not only in uh, Corbin, which I know they're doing the package vote, mm -hmm. Wh uh, Whitley County, where, or Wimsburg, down in the Whitley area where I'm, I'm from, and then you said in Barberville that it's also expanded. Right, exactly. And I noticed uh, Barberville had a big rally about two weeks ago uh, trying to put a stop to this, and that you all have one down in Williamsburg. Exactly. We, we've, we've had a meeting uh, and a rally. I have some of the information here uh, that, uh, that helps. Uh, you, uh, Brother Jonathan, I understand that a lot of the listening audience out there, without a doubt, are, are uh, adults or senior adults. Right. And, and these are wonderful people who, by experience, know that drinking is hurting our communities oh, and yes. hurting our families. And, and we have saw in the paper or on the news how that it's devastated lives and taken lives out. And there's no cause for it. Right, right. But, but Brother Jonathan, what, it, what I think sometimes is the young people in this area, mm -hmm. uh, those young people now, and all of these people we love. Right. But those young folks need to know that, you know, by experience, the older ones knows that this drinking is a major problem. It's done damage. It's exactly, hurt others. Exactly. But the young people, you know, what tells them is they're looking at us and they're saying, well, you know, there's a couple of preachers and mm -hmm. all they're going to tell us is that same old fogey stuff that the Bible says. And the Bible does, right. does condemn it. Exactly. And yeah. in fact, even Paul said, I don't want to be a stumbling block, even if, if my liberties that I have, right. I don't want to let them be a hurt to someone else, right. but that young crowd out there, Jonathan, that's, mm -hmm. that's viewing this uh, program, right. now what they are going to go by, it's not as much as what we're going to say about the Bible, but, and, and, and by the way, John, you know, a lot of folks have said, well, Brother Billy, I've got my own interpretation or my own ideals. Right. And, and, and you may be looking at us right now and you say, you know, you, you, you uh, Bible thumpers, you know, and, and, and we care about you. It's the only reason we're here. Exactly. But here's the point. You're not going to be able to argue with these facts right here. Okay. Okay. Tell us about you them, can, You can argue with me as a preacher or mm -hmm. you, Jonathan, and, and saying this is your belief or mine. Right. But some of those basic facts that, that uh, were sent out, and, and probably some of those folks got them, mm -hmm. uh, that's going to tell us that this study, and you know, I read in the paper, I think, last night about how that uh, comments were made about the money that's mm -hmm. going to be coming in off mm -hmm. of it, Brother Jonathan, mm -hmm. and how it's going to help our, our right. communities. Blood money. Us. That's it's not going to yeah. help them. That's right. You know, and I, I read this I, like in uh, like the National Center for Addiction and Substance Abuse of Columbia University states per dollar earned by county or city through tax revenue. Uh, you know, it's going to cost three to four dollars to sust sustain it mm. socially. Oh. And, and you know, these folks that's watching this, uh, I don't want you to just think, you know, well, they're against it. And we are. We are. But it's yeah. because we care, right. because we love, and because it is not good exactly. for your community and my community. Mm -hmm. It's not good for your family, mm -mm. nor none of my family. No, no. Uh, listen to this. A new study released by the C CDC, the Lewis Group, the researchers, estimate excessive drinking cost seven uh, 46 for every man, woman, and child in the United States in 2006. Oh, that's heartbreaking. It, the cost is, it, it, it's not, it's not there. Listen to this one. $116 billion was paid for the public tax 
a payer for alcohol-related crashes. Mm. And some of those dear folks know that some of their loved ones' lives have been taken out because of alcohol. I know it. I know it. And it seems like we're living in such a time, especially as the Bible has told us, they're calling good evil and evil good. They're trying to vote out us as Christians and all of our rights, but they're trying to bring in alcohol sales, gambling, legalized drugs, legalized marijuana. We're living in such a desperate time, bro. <laughs> Well, Jonathan, it's, it's like the Bible says, and, it, and this is working out on uh, February the 14th when this vote is taken. You, you may remember back when they was voting just for the uh, sales of right. it in a restaurant at 100. Mm -hmm. But the Bible tells us a little leaven Mm -hmm. Leaven the whole lump. That's right. Now, the, the Word of God tells us that the, don't give the devil any room. Mm -mm. If you give him a beachhead, and that's what we're doing in Corbin right. and, and all around us, we're getting a beachhead, and he's going to take over this county mm -hmm. and the counties around us because that's the way he operates.